What's up guys? I'm at the range two Tuesdays in a row. It's amazing. Um, it's a little bit chillier today. It's a little bit windier today and I'm doing something a little different today. So last episode I was doing some low development on the 33XC and this time I'm actually going to be confirming that data at different distances along the way and I'm going to show you how I calculate my ballistics. So right now I'm in the shack. I'm set up. I've got a special guest. I've got my 416 and I've got the trigger cam on it. So I'm gonna try something different. You guys know that I've had issues with the trigger cam shutting off uh, after taking shots. So this time, I'm just gonna use that rifle as my cameraman and put it on each target. I'm gonna be shooting 400 yards. That's like the cold bore distance in France at the King of One Mile event. So I'm just gonna shoot a cold bore shot right now, 400 yards, then I'm gonna go to 700 and I've got, here's what I've got. So last time you, you know that I was at, um, I worked the load up to 116.5 grains of powder. So right here I've got these six shots are 116.7, then I jump up to 117, and these are 117.2. Here's my cold bore shot, it's also a, a 116.7. Uh, and so I'm actually gonna be shooting six different targets with three different loads. I'm gonna write down all that data. I'm gonna figure out which load is the most consistent, and I'm gonna find out how much elevation it takes me to get to the center of the plate, and I'm gonna show you how I reverse calculate those ballistics to get the numbers that I get. So I'm gonna get my, ear, my ears on, and we're gonna take the first shot on the cold bore. And let's go ahead and turn this on so we can synchronize. Okay, we are on. This will be the first time also that I've used the new Lab Radar LX inside. So we're going to see how it works inside of a, uh, of a shack here and, and, and capturing um, rounds out of a window. So that'll be new. And it's only, we're only looking at 0 0.8. We're only looking at 0 0.8 to get to that 400 yard target. And today over here, I have an airfoil bag in flat dark earth with multicam on the sides. Battery life still at 74%, it's set idle for a week, and it has not lost any battery juice. And I'm not gonna compensate for any wind. Any windage in there. It's got kind of a tailwind today, but it's about 15 mile an hour. I'm hoping for 31, 65 feet per second. And the Mirage looks like it's pretty close to, to tail. All right. 31.83, and it's a little low. It's about 0.4 low. That's interesting. Okay. I may have to just recheck the zero, but I'm not going to do that today. So I'm just going to compensate that 0.4, and we're going to move out to 700 yards. All right, we're at 694 yards, 694. We're looking at 2.9. Okay, we got three shots to take. One, two, three. I'm going to hold left edge. Next to the other one, still a little bit low. 3165, we're right at the speed I wanted to be. Next distance, we're going to a thousand. Okay, I'm up on the thousand yard platform. Form. I'm all set up. Uh, there's this rim around the edge, so I put the lab radar on the outside of the rim because uh, it obviously isn't going to track a bullet through a piece of wood. Uh, so we're all set up, ready to go. 
5.1 mils of elevation to get to a thousand yards. I'm gonna shoot a different target this time because I actually wanna go on my way uh, around to the other targets and look at that group at the 700 yard so that I can kind of true that and I didn't wanna muddy up that target anymore. Still shooting uh, 116.7 grain. We'll see how these numbers line up with the, uh, the last set. Man, almost looks like a boil. I don't think I'm going to hold for wind. There's a little left to right. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to hold left edge again. I forgot to arm the radar. I unarmed it for some reason when I picked it up. We lost a piece of data. Oh, this whole platform's shaking in this wind. Thirty-one sixty-six. I like these numbers. Thirty-one seventy-five. Had one go a little fast. All right, going to twelve hundred yards. Okay, I'm at the twelve hundred yard platform, six point eight mils, and the wind. The, I got a little bit more wind from the left. I might have to come off the plate a little bit, but next, the next three shots are one hundred and seventeen grains of powder. Oh yeah, we got some left to right now. I'm gonna put in. Uh, I'm gonna guess like 0.6 left. Yeah, I'll go 0.7. That sounds good. That's a good round number. Bolt opens easy, so. Thirty-one eighty-two. Thirty-one eighty-three. All right, next target. All right, I'm down at the plates, and here's the. The, the target I shot in the cold bore and then at 700. I think that was the cold bore hit because it was low and right. And then one, two, three. So I don't know, what's that? About five inches or so, 700. That will work. And then I shot this target over here at 1,000 and 1,200 and one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm, I'm assuming that that was a group and this was a group and I can probably tell through the trigger cam um, I'll go back and look at that and verify for sure, but I love I love that you know at 1,200 yards if that was my group, uh, that that's phenomenal, and uh, I don't know how I do wind sometimes I can literally look through the scope and it's really hard for me to teach that to people. You have to kind of be here and you're looking through a spotting scope. You're looking through a scope with me and I can say okay you see that gust you see how the mirage is moving, and then I'm just like it feels like this like. I think you heard me say, oh, I'm going to go 0 0.6. Ah, I call it 0 0.7 and then center punch it at 1,200 yards. Uh, I'm going to guess like 0 0.6 left. Yeah, I'll go 0 0.7. That sounds good. Of course, having a firearm that's phenomenal is, uh, is a part of that equation as well. Okay, I'm packing up and headed out to 1,465 yards. Here we go.